<laughs> Tiles are off. <laughs> Um, all the tiles are off, so now it's time to get the battens and the old rafters off and check out the big structural timbers underneath. Hopefully, they'll be okay. Yeah, and I've got a jet washer, so I'm going to jet wash them all down and see what they look like. And all the, I think I'll get carried away and do all the brick and stone and everything. <laughs> Here <laughs> we go. clean the land. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that's a nice angle <laughs> of your bottom. Badger is up on the roof again, stripping the battens. Right. Pretty um, rotten. So the plan is get all the battens off and then get the rafters off because they're all, uh, I would say, too small for the weight of the roof. Um, and they're all a bit rotten and missing half the ends. So we'll get all of that off and then we'll have a look at the structural stuff, which is the purlins, the middle ones going across, the ridge, which is a big one going across the top and see how the timber of that A-frame is and the wall plates and replace what we have to. Preferably, fingers crossed, the beautiful bit in the middle is fine and we won't have to do anything else, but I don't know. Let's wait and see. Yeah. This really cool old nail. Well, there's hundreds of them, but they look so old. Battens are off on one side. Just 
just come outside because I can hear Badger wrestling around in the back. <laughs> what are you doing? There's a mountain there. <laughs> I've emptied the whole bottom of this and there's a mountain here. Oh, and don't tell me that because I hate mice. Look, pull my feet. Oh. Pull me out. No, oh, no, where's the cat? The cat's here, he's interested in something. Badger, badger, badger. <laughs> Okay, stop. He's back in. Oh, I can't deal with that. What else are you looking for, mate? <laughs> I think it's a well-known fact that I hate mice, and the fact that there's one in the bus is not okay. Oh, no. Handle it. This is weird. It feels like a... That's it. In we go. <laughs> it's our new boiler for the house. <laughs> I think you should just stay down there. Our bed's too small for the two of us. <laughs> <laughs> put these traps back out and not try and get on my finger. <laughs> right, put that there. Stop going in that hole. Oh, he's got it. Have you got it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I can't reach the floor. <laughs> <laughs> No idea of where I am. What's below me? <laughs> Put your foot down, you're fine. I can't put any further than that. It'll just fall out. <laughs> <laughs> we found the mouse, though. Me and Inspector Crumb. <laughs> Thanks to no help from you. I'm right, going to bed. Bloody. One o'clock in the morning or something. Got <laughs> all the boot over there. <laughs> so this morning not after having to get a mouse out of the back of the van last night but the spring stopped and it's like 60 meters above where we are and it's so steep to get up so i need to get up and have a look so me and puds we're coming a very steep first thing in the morning walk <gasps> right we're at the spring we've got nothing overflowing but i can hear i don't know if you can hear the there is an inlet dribbling in. So let's see how empty it is and full of rubbish. So maybe just up. Oh, it's up so overground. Oh, it's full. That's good. That means we've got something wrong with the siphon. So let's make sure that all the fittings are tight. Tap at the bottom to let the silt out. So I think we're going to have to replace this perforated pipe with a, a normal pipe, flexible, non-perforated, and then I think we'll be spot on. Right, so we've checked the spring, we're on the way back down, That's a, the tank is nice and full. I think we've just lost the siphon. So the other day we swapped the caravan over and stuff and I put the spring water right the way around and I think one of the fittings is not strong enough to hold the pressure of the spring. Um, so that blew off, emptied our tank completely and we lost the siphon. So we've got to go back down, see if we can reinstate the siphon and get the spring water going again. Gosh, it's far up and far down. Whoop. Dog's all right, me. So I just started the siphon again. <laughs> you can hear it. Oh. Whoa, whoa, woohoo! Blop, 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 blop. Bit more choke! And she's gone! Excellent. Right, let's not waste any more. So, Badger is off in town doing a few bits and bobs, and I thought I might give the lawnmower a whirl. Um, I'm not going to brave the strimmer because I have no idea how to use it and I haven't used it before. But I've got my snippers, I've got the lawnmower, 
and I thought I would just tidy up around the edges a bit. It's all looking a bit scraggly and yeah, a bit unloved. So I'm going to do some trimming and some lawn mowing um, and try and make it a bit neater. See what I mean there? It's kind of overgrowing, but not really grass. It's just, I don't know, <laughs> just kind of doing its own thing. Um, so I'm going to try and tidy up and hopefully it might look a bit neater around here. Right, so I'm going to tackle this verge. Might not seem like a big job, but if we don't keep on top of it like this, it gets super out of hand really quickly. Um, so yeah, even though we've got so much to do, work continues also thank you to everyone that mentioned about um asking the local camera for like the local council for removal of the hornet's nest unfortunately well not unfortunately but the hornets aren't on our property we can't find a nest anywhere um but i have researched that apparently they can travel up to five kilometers from their nest so wow um yeah i'm not sure where the nest is but Obviously, we're going to keep a lookout for one. And if we do have one on our land, obviously, we'll get it removed. Um, they're just such a pest. I'm so sad about the bees. I'm totally gutted. And because they moved in so quickly, um, yeah, I thought they were going to be super happy there, but it's just so awful. We've had loads of messages saying that people's hives have been completely wiped out or their neighbours have or... Um, yeah, it's a really bad issue at the moment. Um, I know, like, the Indie Project, they had four or five nests, I think they said. So crazy. Um, but yeah, really sad. jobs ticked off which is great it's super hot now um but i'm glad i got the lawn done i did all the way up the driveway and the verges um yeah some good jobs ticked off it's nice to do these little things that i can do and not badger having to do everything um so yeah i'm pleased with that now for a cold shower we're just on the way to collect our new trailer and i just can't believe every time they're completely black with kind of oh sugars um yeah with soot and you can still unfortunately it's not smell a vision <laughs> scratch and sniff scratch and sniff you can still s s smell like the faint smell of wood smoke 
um, where they've obviously been co uh, cooking in that room. So on to the other side. Yep. How did the first side go? Are you happy with the wood? It looks fine. I think what I'm going to do is this is all a bit rotten. A bit. <clears throat> so I'm going to take the other wall plate seems OK, but this one seems a bit naff on the end. But the wood itself seems pretty solid. Um, so my plan is that I'm going to keep them inside, I think, because they're structurally OK to be up there. But then I'm going to put reinforced ones over the top of it and build kind of a new roof on top. But from underneath, it looked like the old roof is the plan. I like it. <clears throat> old but new. So what Badge is saying is to keep this bit in the middle here and the main top one up there, Badger? Yeah. Yeah. And this one? Which one? Yeah, keep everything that the big ones. It's just the purlins, which are the ones that go horizontally. So that keep all the big ones because they look lovely and pretty. So while Badger carries on stripping the other side of the roof, I'm going to move all this wood here into our fancy new trailer. Ah! It's going to make our lives so much easier. It was a big decision to buy a trailer because um, they're not cheap, but just moving wood around, um, getting trees from the forest, like all that kind of stuff, moving tiles is going to make everything so much easier because we're doing everything by hand. It was just taking a long, long time. Um, so yeah, I'm happy about that. I'm excited. It's moved. You can see now. I think you can see. Can you see all that? How black and sooty it is. Some bits were so rotten. Like this, you can just see where the bugs have been munching through it for years. Basically, just dust. Look at my hands. <laughs> but yeah, that's a good job done. So the second side of the roof is down. So the idea is we're going to keep this structural one and this one and the main one that crosses across here once we get all this rubbish off. And then I'm going to reinforce this one, this one, and I'm going to put a new ridge across the top to take some of the weight off of the frame. And then we should be ready to put the roof back on. It looks mega. Do you reckon? Woo! I'm not being lazy. I have just moved all the <laughs> <laughs> So as you can see there, these logs have been placed across the beams inside for drying something. I don't know what it is. Then if you have any idea what it could have been. I'm not, well, I don't know what it is. Curves. It doesn't look like curves. I know. It's funny. As you're clearing it, you're literally the like center piece of the roof is becoming like clearer and clearer. It's amazing. It's so cool, isn't it? It's so pretty. There you go, jousting pole there. The other one is huge, it goes right the way through. Does it? Yeah. Oh, 
some roses. Anneli, any wobbly stones we come across, we're just pushing them down for the digger man, aren't we? Well, yeah, I mean, he's rebuilding all of this, so I just don't want to um, have a broken toe or anything. No. So, I think that's fair. Yeah. Right. Happy? Yeah, it's like, yeah it's I'm looking excited, wicked. aren't you? Yeah, man. <laughs> It's been drying. It looks like that kind of broom stuff, you know, the green broom. No idea. So this is the structure that we're hoping to save because look how beautiful it is. So bloody cool. It's so cool. So and cool. Even if it doesn't do anything structurally, we want to have it. So this room here is going to be the living room and it's going to be, which is, it's not double height, is it? But like high it's ceilings. Just vaulted. Vaulted, it's vaulted, yeah. Yeah. Um, so we'll have like, obviously the living room bit down there, but we want to be able to look at that because that's the history of it, isn't it? Just love the way they've made it, like the way they thought about it. All these little notches. Can you see here where it's notched out? Yeah. And there. So that's that when that pushes the weight down, it pushes onto this one and pushes onto this one, then onto the wall. The same here. And then that pushes in, pushes that down. So it, it, the weight of itself makes it stronger. So clever. So clever. And it's obviously been here a very long time. Yeah. <laughs> this room isn't massive I think because we're gonna have the vaulted ceiling it's gonna feel really nice and kind of airy and big enough um, to be the living room and I've got a real feeling from it now now the herbs and stuff are down you can really feel the size of it it's amazing see here now now the lights let in where they obviously have the fire at the back because all the soot is all the way up the back there it's mad rigging this hose up as I have borrowed from a friend a pressure washer and I'm going to pressure wash the stones and all the timbers get rid of all the kind of woodworm and the rotten bits see what's left and then we can make more of a decision on whether to treat it or to replace it or to brace it or all that stuff really great can I have a go <sighs> absolutely I love a pressure washer <laughs> <laughs>
I don't know whether it's woodworm or carpenter bees, but they have just chewed through all of this. So I don't know, I think the main beam is all right because there wasn't much that came away, but some of these 45 supports, are the, the power hose is just blowing holes straight through them. Um, ideally, I'd like to keep them and treat them because they're original and take the weight off. But it's this main one down there that I'm worried about. Look, it's almost hollow in the middle. Oh yeah. It's like collected the water. Yeah. But even if we try and keep them for like aesthetics. Yeah. But then are we gonna be able to treat all the wood and protect our new wood? I don't know, I'm going to have to do some research, I don't really know. These big holes look like carpenter bees to me. And they get in there and they, they lay little grubs and the grub just eats and eats and eats and eats its way through. You can see the channels as you look in here of just sawdust that's left behind. If anyone knows anything about carpenter, well are they carpenter bees? I think so, yeah. Carpenter bees or wood beetles or woodworms, grub. grubs, please let us know because yeah, we don't know anything about it, but I really want to be able to save these timbers. As you can see where Badger's jet washed, it is absolutely riddled, riddled and been munched, munched away. <laughs> playing the game of... Can I balance it between the nails <laughs> all the way to get a measurement? Um, one of, obviously, there's many reasons why we fell in love with this place, but one of them was, one of the main ones was this building, this house. So we do want to keep it as similar to the old... How far away am I at that end? Uh, about six inches. completely rotten but in the sections that aren't rotten if they're short enough we can use them over doors and windows and things like that yeah the same with this bit obviously we want to save as much as possible but equally oh well i was just saying to badger we don't want to come try and save this and 20 years down the line be like why don't we just redo it mm. So, as I said before, any advice on woodworm, wood beetles, wood chat, please let us know because, yeah, we don't really know what to do. Can you show me what you collected in your basket? Yeah. What's in there? Mm. Nuts. Can you remember what type of nuts they are? Chestnuts. Chestnuts.
And that's it, another week. I cannot believe how fast it's gone. But to be honest, we have got so many massive jobs ticked off. It feels incredible. Um, the roof, we're just so chuffed with, well, lack of roof. Um, yeah, we feel like we've really ticked off some massive, massive jobs. Next week, there are rumors. There are rumors in the street that the ground workers will be back, but let's see. So fingers and toes crossed. And please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell and gives us, give us a thumbs up if you enjoy our videos, because we are at the start of a very, very exciting project. Mm -hmm.